Hello and welcome to the Harrisdale Senior High School student tutorial for Sector Learn and how to use and navigate using Sector Learn for your timetable. First of all, once you're on your welcome page, scroll down using the left hand side and click on timetable. You'll then be able to view your timetable. Here you can color code your timetable. By doing so, all you need to do is click in the middle box where you'll see a palette. Click on the palette. You can then change the color as you require. It will then automatically change the different colors of that same subject. Once you've done that, you can then also include different information for that week. Where you can see a gap after school, you can then include. So I've already put some maps revision in, I've put my work in. If I've got a new shift on Friday, I can put that in also. All I'll do is I can click on there, on the space on Friday, and then I can amend the time here. So if I am working from five o'clock and I finish at nine, I can simply just scroll up and edit as need to. From there then, I'll just put work in and then I can save. Again, if I wanted to color code this, it's exactly the same. All I simply do is click on the pen and then under the color, I can then color code and it will be saved. And then I can do the exact same for there for my previous work. So I know orange means I'm working, etc. Once I'm in my timetable, it's really important I can plan ahead to see when my assessment to due or I'm going to have a test. By doing so, in the top right hand corner, there's arrows and I move forward in my weeks. So here I'm in week two of the semester. Week three, I can see there's an icon which has a calculator and a percentage. This shows that I have an assessment due on that Friday and I can then see what task number it is and the title. Underneath that, you'll also see another icon for my maths class. This maths class again shows I have a, a calculator and a percentage and it will show the title of my assessment, the task and what it is. Please make sure you are up to date and you know when your assessments are and assignments. If you'd like to email one of your teachers, all you need to do is go to the middle of the box of that subject and the teacher you want to email. Go to the mail icon, click on that and a new window will appear. Title that what you need, e.g. support in maths. If you want to include another staff member, you can, like the head of that learning area, feel free, but it's no need if you, if you don't think there's a need to. If you want to email myself, for example, you put Davis in, my surname, and I'll pop up. Please remember when you're writing emails to start and open the email politely and then finish either with a regards or a thank you, as this is just common courtesy. Once you've finished emailing uh, the teacher, simply press send in the top right hand corner. If you want to add a document in, go to the bottom where you see add files, click on this, then go to my devices and it will load. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. Hope it helps.